Thank you, Chair Peterson, Ranking Member Clicker, and members of the Housing Committee, for which I also sit. I bring you House Bill 1474 to address some key challenges in our state. As we are addressing the impending and ongoing housing crisis, addressing supply, addressing the needs for supports, and the needs for stabilization, we have another factor that we still need to address. Home ownership is an economic cornerstone of modern American society. You purchase a home, you build equity, you build equity and leverage that equity for other opportunities, whether it's to help pay for college, start a business, or even help a family member with a down payment for their own home. Yet, it is unmistakable that racially restrictive covenants as the anchor to other historical efforts such as redlining, mortgage restrictions, they were essential in a concerted effort to discriminate against black, indigenous, Asian, Jewish, and other marginalized residents of Washington state. And the results of these intentional policies, practices, and laws have had a multi-generational impact on our Washington communities. This bill addresses the decades, the decades of direct harms inflicted by our state on Washington residents. Community members and their descendants who have been in this state since before it came to be. Racially restrictive covenants did not become unenforceable until April 11th, 1968. This is just seven days after the assassination of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Ladies and gen gentlemen, this is only seven years before my birth and within the timeline and lifetime of many committee members in this chamber. This bill is the outcome of years of nonpartisan historical research. The stakeholder group to help craft this bill is comprised of a multiracial coalition. And we all have a stake in this. With this bill, Washington, be, Washington can be a leader in the nation at addressing the harms of its own peculiar past through a direct and focused endeavor to build an inclusive economic future for all of its residents. Let me repeat, an inclusive economic future. Fellow committee members, on this sixth day of February, Black History Month, I urge your support of the Covenant Home Ownership Bill, and I would welcome any questions. Any questions for the good representative? Seeing none, thank you for bringing this bill forward. And first, I would like to bring up, he might not refer to himself this way, but we think a very special guest who has done tremendous work in this space in, during his time in elected office, uh, Lieutenant Governor Denny Hack. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> 